Um, I found a thing. Anyway, what? You obtained dragonfly bead. Uniquely shaped bead that shines in multiple layers of color. Okay, cool. Anyway, hello everybody. My name is Dude. Welcome back to Okami HD. What did I do? What? What happened? What happened? What? What did I do? It's just daytime. Okay. I've been digging into that garden for a while. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, if anything. Maybe we can talk to this lady. A lot. Get some hints. Where did that darn pole go? How could something so important just disappear? Something. Better help her out, furball. Alright, but I gotta find the pole first. That's the important thing. Next important thing is I gotta wake up that guy who's all like, Hey, I gotta move the rock! I don't wanna move the rock! No, I told that merchant I could help, but a boulder of that size? I don't care if I'm the, of a legendary bloodline, it's just too big! Hmm? Oh no, I can't believe I've run out of sake at a time like this! This won't do one bit. That's it for today, I'll just have to train tomorrow. Can't train without socket to fuel the fire. Training will just have to wait till tomorrow. Why well, do it today? Why well, it could be put off until tomorrow? That's doing the Suzano way. Sake? Hmm. Oh yeah, this village has a sake brewing girl, doesn't it? Yeah, but why are we giving him sake? That's just fueling his laziness. He's not gonna train with more sake. He's just gonna be a whiny little shit and try to get drunk. Hello. Had a bit of a problem, you know, I have to polish rice in the mill house before I can use it, but the mill's broken. A wicked monster broke it the other day. Okay. It's helpless trying to make good sake without clean rice. That's too bad. I should never have let that monster try to try my new thunder brew. A broken mill and flattened crops. That's all the thanks I get. Aren't they giving monsters sake? They're bad enough sober. Sheesh, what was she thinking? Well, I guess it's a matter of fixing something that's broken. Sounds like something you could handle with your brush, Amy. Alright, I could do that. Maybe. Uh, how do I draw again? Okay. Does that work? No, it didn't work. Motherfucker. Okay, how do I... Oh, there we go. I thought I did it wrong. I did it, though! The power of painting compels you to be whole again. What's this? The, wind, the mill's been mended! Who on earth did that? You're welcome. Master artist right here totally didn't draw a P and meant to draw, like, half a circle. I completely given up on the idea of making my sake. Now I can get on with polishing the rice! Well, no time like the present. I better get started. Die, you better. Die, you better. Because apparently there's some lazy ass bastard who thinks he needs sake to, like, you know, live and all. He doesn't. He just needs to get off his ass and do something. Alright, what's up? You're interested in how to brew sake, are you, Snowy? Well, this thing here is for polishing the rice, you see. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've got something I think you'll like. <laughs> it's just some leftover stock from the store, but I made it myself. It's called Vista of the Gods. Oh, but are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? I'm not giving it. It's not for me. Can I? Can I take it? I can. I can take it. Okay. You consumed rice balls. Cool. I consumed a bale of rice. Cool. I'm just stealing all her shit. She totally didn't need any of it. I guess. Alright, let's give this guy the sake. Maybe he'll, uh... Maybe he'll be nice. I don't know. We'll see. It's up in the air at this point. Alright, here's your sake. Hmm? Hold it right there, Fido. That smell. Is that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake? Here you go. Now train and destroy the boulder already. Fido, my friend! Did you bring me some of Kushi's sake? Oh, what a glorious day! Ah, oh, good old sake. 
Man without drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. Not true. In fact, it is said that Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in his battle against the dreaded Orochi. It's all so clear now. Let the training begin! Oh, he's actually doing it. Should I have better my usual routine? Okay, here I come! What? Is he actually gonna fight? Um... I've gotta help him? I've gotta help him. Feast your eyes on this! Susano style! Exploding implosion! What? That's... All me! Huh? At least he's got the confidence to train now. Susano style! Exploding implosion! Oh boy. There we go. I did it, I guess. That's amazing! You sliced that huge rock clean in half! And he's still amazed he did it. You really are something! Wow, I didn't think you could do it, Pops. Sure. Sure, he did it. He did it! Sure, it wasn't the dog with the brush. You know, the guy with the controller. It was this... bored ass man who couldn't do anything drunk. Me either. Uh, I mean, of course I could! Totally, and without the help of a dog. After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever! You were just showing off when you said you were your Nagi's descendant. Someone like you'd have no trouble in fighting monsters off, huh? Well, anyway, thanks a lot. I can start doing business again. Did you say monsters? Oh, uh, of course, no problem. I mean, he sliced the boulder, two boulders in half. You'd think he would uh, have the confidence to fight monsters off a little bit. You know? This is a job for the most skilled warrior in all of Nip Nippon. Yes, I shall rid these land of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susanna work his magic. <laughs> he shouldn't get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. Think he'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, he'll be fine. What? Why the fuck's your butt hanging out? I didn't ask for that! Oh, yes, I'm a Tarasu. Cover your ass, lady! You katas don't look like that! I don't care if you need to poop! It's easily! Ah, what if the front had been uncovered? I've been banned from YouTube! I'm probably still gonna be banned from YouTube because of the butt thing, but whatever! What a pleasure to make you know, this your heroic deeds, I am in awe! Great, will you cover your ass, lady? When you cleave the boulder into two, my heart skipped a beat. No! Be gone, thought! See your skill with the brush is to be witness to great art. Cool. You need me to paint something over your asshole to cover the hole that is your yukata. Yeah, so we get a reward or something, lady? I don't want... A reward from this. I hardly really think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Isun! Isun, Isun, Isun! Stop calling me a bug! And cover your ass. I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. My word. Ah, oh, relax, lady. Furball here is more comfy anyway. Let's get back to that reward thing you were, you were talking about. Come on, Emmy, put your paw up or... Or something. Come on, go on, shake. I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. Just barely, huh? But well, my body stands firmly here within the confines of the village. 
My roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. Oh, those things? They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will wilt away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Aw oh, man, it's getting heavy. And apparently we're getting sleepy. Great and powerful Amaterasu. Can I be so bold as to request your assistance in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. Alright, sure. So there's two. Okay. We'll do that. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. Certainly don't have the strength to cover your ass, do you? I hope that my request has not fallen on deaf ears. Amaterasu, may the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Ah. I'm always itching for a good fight, but... I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with Furball here till I get all the brush skills. I guess you are, he's soon. Anyway, Amy's a god and all. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, did you listen to her, Furball? You get the rest of the brush techniques to save the world. And I'll steal and learn them. And that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. Got it. You can stop bouncing on my nose now. So what's my map button again? It's been a while. Uh, map... What? Zoom out. So it's not this way then. I need a mini-map because it looked like it was... There was stuff in the village. And I'm not sure if there was. Did you just open the shop right here? Guess I better off load some stock before heading back. Feel free to take a look if you've been set to do the shopping, pup. Sure, we'll do some shopping. What do we got? Shit. I hit the wrong button. Bye. Got vengeance slip. Paper depicting karmic backlash. Temporary effect on enemy attacks. Okay. Mm. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. Really wish the. Really wish I knew how to navigate the map. This looks. Yeah, this looks like I'm going this way. Like, I need to go this way in order to do stuff, so let's go this way. Um... Yeah, I do need to be at the waterfall. Okay, so we'll go... Somewhere? Where do I go? How do I get up there? Can I make a bridge? Can I make a bridge? No, no, I can't. There's something over there, though. I don't quite know what, though. It looked weird. Ah, get in there. Okay, so I guess I can't stay in the water for long, but I see stuff down there. Can I dive? How do I dive? Um... What's this? 
Can I cut it? I can! Aha! I could cut it. But, uh... How do I get up there to grab the thing? That seems like an important thing I should try to do. I will save here for now. Go there. Alright, so. On to matters. How the fuck am I getting up there? Um... Doesn't look like I'm getting up there that way, so let's try... Let's just move on this way. Maybe I'll find another way over. Like a portal or something. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out the hard way if I have to. Shinshu Field. Huh? You probably know this already, Emmy, but... This here is Shinshu Field. The most beautiful field in Nippon. At least it's supposed to be. But ever since that incident, I've been feeling getting a va a bad vibe. You better watch where we're going. You can look at the map holding down left trigger. Let's pay attention to the map as we push ahead. Okay. Whoa. That's some uh, darkness bullshit there. What? I mean, that's the first guardian sapling marked on our map. It's supposed to be a place for travelers to rest and recuperate. Just look at it. It looks like it could fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed from the look of it. Places where evil have take, has taken hold, luring monsters from far and wide, are known as cursed zones. But I've never seen one this big. It's worth it all the plant life in the area, even that big tree. It'd take a monster with powers beyond even a god to do this. That tree's an offshoot of Sakuya. It protects nature in the area. Maybe the na natural beauty here would re re return if we revived it. How the heck could we do that anyway? Now what the fuck is that thing? What? Oh, hello! It's a fight! It's a fight! Now oh, fuck your couch. Uh Why couldn't I do the slicey dice? There we go. Uh, boop! Done. Anything else? No? Got, thought so. Alright, let's go. Whoa, camera, you're weird. Remember, you're being weird. Look at that, Amy. This guardian sapling's a wreck. So that's why Saki is hurting so bad. But the natural beauty would turn if we revive it. How could we possibly do something like that? You need a special power to make a withered tree bloom. I don't think I have that. Not yet, anyway. If I do, I don't remember having it. Let's see if I have the ability. Rejuvenation. What? Oh! Perform the function and control the celestial brush type. Okay, so I need rejuvenation. I could probably do that. Whoa. It didn't work. Um, am I missing something? You need to do it on the tree? No, no, I, maybe, maybe now? It what? It's telling me I have a brush power. Must buy your gummy. Fill in areas where something once existed to restore that object. Rejuvenation. You find it easier to fill areas in completely. Don't aim for artistic beauty, just fill it in as best you can. So. Maybe I do this? 
I fell in the tree? Nope. No, I don't. Okay, so that's not how that works. I guess I need something else. That I'm just doing it horrifically wrong. I'm probably doing it horrifically wrong. Let's be real, I'm probably doing it horrifically wrong. Ha! Double kill? Double kill indeed. Alright, next. Is that all? That was all. Alright. Cool. Now for you, buddy boy. Boop. Why don't you fucking block me? I don't like you blocking me. Boop. Oh, you're already dead. Okay. I thought maybe you were still alive. Oh well. So we got... Oh, we got people here. Hello. Hello, person. What just happened? I was out here chopping wood and suddenly with nature and, as usual, when I heard a loud rumbling like an earthquake from the lake. Then a huge gust of wind blew up out of nowhere. I don't know what happened next, but when I came to it was like this. My art workshop was just across the stream here, but it up and vanished when it, this cursed zone appeared. The earth must be angry. All I want is to live with nature in peace, man, but now I can't. I noticed a figure running from the lake towards Kamiki. Whoever it was, man, I hope Mother Earth kept them safe. What? Here's about that cave. It's the entrance to a place called Hana Valley. The site of an amazing waterfall, but monsters have moved in now. There's a trippy crystal ball that makes plants grow and shrine there. You'd think gardeners would be flocking here for it. Actually, not long ago, that Susano guy marched, was marching in there. It's weird. Normally he runs away at the sight of monsters, and he hardly seems the type to try his hand at gardening. Anyway, it's bad karma, man. You could be attacked if you went in. So cave, you say? A cave, you say? Is this the cave? Is this the cave? I believe this is the cave. We're gonna go in the cave, and we're gonna explore it, and we're gonna kill shit. We're gonna get Susanna out of trouble, because he's probably in a bunch of it. Probably, he's probably in a bunch of it. Let's just... Let's be honest. Oh, good, there's a save point here. I might... I'm gonna end the episode here. Actually. We'll call this a... We'll call this an Okami episode. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make it sure let me know. And we're the Baron for supporting me on Patreon this month. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!